Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel. And as you can see, I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to add a script to the scripts area, uh, the script editor, so you can use the script. And hopefully that helps uh, out the subscribers. Uh, basically, let's just look in there. Let's see what we got. We don't have a whole lot in here right now. Let's click on Window and we're going to click on script editor and you can see this is what we have so what we're, what we're going to do is close it for now and we're going to go ahead to an area where we can find it so we're going to go to my documents because that's where I have one I'm going to pick let's see we'll do spline placement script open this it's spline placement version 1.3 now it will be zipped up when you download it you can uh, right click on it after you highlight it and click extract all then it will open to this little folder and you can get in it then you're going to click on one of them what you could do uh, just just remember what it says but you really don't have to you can write it whatever but it, it's going to put it in there regardless so we're going to we don't want to keep that we're going to right click on it. We're going to click edit with notepad plus plus. It's going to pull this up. Do not delete any of this information. You need it. Uh, and this is your main script and you don't want you want to keep it all there. So you're going to click at the lowest point. Make sure that you don't have anything below there and make sure you highlight everything. Then right click on it and click copy. Then get out of it and you can close it. All right, and we're going to minimize that. Now we'll remember the name for now, just for the tutorial sake. Spline placement create. Okay, we're going to come over here and hit create new script, and we're going to type it in spline placement create. All right, and we're going to hit create. It's going to come in here, and we're going to we're going to highlight that right there, the all of it, and hit delete. And we're going to hit right click here and click paste. Now we're going to hit save. And now we have our script in the editor. And as you can see, it put the name. It, it, I, I don't even know if I spaced mine, but whatever the case, it's the name there. So it usually puts the name there for you. So, All right. So if you want to do it again, we can just close for now. And you can come here, go ahead, and if you want, create the new script. And then you're going to type in the next name. So we got to see what the next name is going to be. Or you can click on here and just copy and paste it. Copy, click off, click it in here, paste, hit create. Go ahead and delete that. Okay, go back to where your little thing is. Highlight it, right click, edit with Notepad++. Highlight it all right click hit copy click off of it close it don't delete anything don't change anything you can minimize this right click in here hit paste hit save and now it's in there see it all right now this one we could try to, to put a different name to show you but it, it should put it whatever it needs to be you know i didn't write my point is i didn't write placed objects and now it says that um so you know, you, you can see that it does what it needs to do once it's been done. It doesn't keep the name that you typed, is my point. See there? It's going to put the right name. So you could, I guess I could show you. All right, let's do one more. We're going to go ahead and go to create sc new script. And we're going to type T, 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 T. And then we're going to hit create. We're going to delete this. And then we're going to get the other one that we wanted, which is this one. Right click and hit edit with notepad plus plus. Scroll down and highlight. Grab here and start highlighting every single thing. You hit the left mouse button and hold it down and hold up here where my cursor is so it goes all the way up. Hold it there till it finishes. Let go in this corner to have all this highlighted. Right click and hit copy. Click off of it, exit out, minimize, minimize, right click, paste, hit save. Now you see, it's it it put this spline placement execute 1.3. It didn't leave it T T T T T. 
that's what I wanted to that's what I was trying to explain about the name I wrote it right on these except I didn't add placed objects and you seen that it put that and I, but I wrote that on the other two but then uh, this one I put TCTTT and it took that away and put the right name so you, you're good to go on that all right and make sure you hit save and you're good to go and then of course you'd have to follow the rules for whatever you would gotta do in here you know on these here whether it's true or false whether the numbers whatever you're doing with each script is gonna have different things you need to change but anyway I had some people that need to know that uh, and hopefully this helps them I have some more questions from subscribers I'm trying to do some of those videos that the people have asked questions about so uh, I'm doing that but I'm still working on Jules Peaceful Valley map so bear with me but if I get questions I'll answer them regardless you know uh, I figure there's enough out there in the world of YouTube land YouTube land for people but sometimes you know if you're on a certain channel you're not seeing the other channel and so I'm gonna try to make some of those that they my subscribers need to so but I hope everybody enjoyed. If you have any questions, uh, leave a question in the comment section. And I'll try to answer it as best I can. But I hope everybody enjoyed it. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.